Hi guys. Okay, bet you're wondering what I'm doing with all this spray paint. Well, one, it's not staying in place. So, I started thinking, well, what can I do with these little student planners that I had so my stuff wouldn't show through? Well, I got some spray paint out and I will show you what happened. Okay, <coughs> well this is the orange one. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to be up there. Let me put this down here so I know I can't go past there. So this is the Rust-Oleum two-time ultra coverage gloss real orange. Well, wasn't happy with it when I bought it the first time two years ago to spray paint some pumpkins did not work and this is like four coats of it on here but I mean it finally <coughs> you know worked because I thought this way when we put paper around it we would get the orange background <coughs> excuse me for an autumn journal instead of you know seeing the actual um, planner and then when I I spray painted it like this and like I said this one took the longest to dry and it did stick to something because like I said I I do not recommend this one nope this is the worst one I've ever had from rust -Oleum. okay enough of that so but I painted this four different times this is the first coat the thin one on the inside and then I had to wait for forever for it to dry but I mean it does stick and it does look pretty and it's gonna do you know what I want to do but after it dries then it's a little sticky because I still have all my pages in here I haven't folded them in yet <coughs> so then after it dried I folded it back and just hit it right here spray painted there because this part of the spiral is black but this part is orange so I wanted to make sure that this was all that so it's gonna be pretty when it's all said and done with but maybe get some some other orange paint <coughs> sorry y'all I had a candy bar beforehand well a think bar and it's uh choking me drink some old water all right where's my other one okay so then I got my gold spray paint which is Krylon, <coughs> which I believe I got this at um, Joann's. Um, and this actually sprayed really well. I mean, when it dries, it's, I couldn't get the sticker off of here, even though it said easy peel sticker. <coughs> no, no easy peel on that one. But, and then this is where my orange one stuck to, but it's going to be covered with paper anyway. But, I mean, the, the black spiral, <coughs> shoot. Is I'm um, really pretty in gold and um, oh gosh I have a Fergie here and there but now it's gone but it, it'll be covered up so in the same thing I spray painted it like this this is just one coat I spray painted it and then after it dried flipped it this way and then kind of spray painted at this angle so I would get my my spiral done so the Krylon metallic does well <clears throat> holy crap sorry y'all this one is the rust-oleum um, ultra cover same as the orange but it works so much better um, this is the brown um, it doesn't say the color it's whatever this is up here oh I'm bad satin ex ex oh that might be the thing because this is satin satin espresso and this is gloss so do not get gloss get satin <coughs> but if you only have gloss laying around use it but if you're out looking for something uh get a satin spray don't get don't get the gloss i think that's the that's the whole the difference right there but this one sprayed up really nice and i'm going to make one of the little baby journals out of here because um the one from janie b journals has got you know all the browns I don't even know what that is, but we're just going to cover that up. <laughs> it has all the browns and blues and stuff, so this is going to be a pretty outside. And like I said, 
it, um, you know, the spine spray painted really well. Now, this one, I don't know if you guys, <coughs> I use this a lot on metal when I get like a cheap frame or something, or even a wooden frame, something from <clears throat> the dollar, I mean, um, Goodwill or something, or even Dollar Tree, that's just kind of one of those frames that's really pretty, but has nicks and junk in there. This actually <coughs> dries beautifully. I mean, it looks like metal when it's all said and done with. I have a couple colors of it, but enough yakking at that. So that's what this turned out. I mean, because it actually like puddles and settles in here and then all these colors because this was that um roller skating one i mean it actually turned out really pretty let me see if i can get up there and you could can you can you see all those cut there you go can you see all those colors i mean that already looks like fall just itself and then like i said the um the spine you know painted really nice with that but <clears throat> i mean let me tell you this spray paint here made this dollar journal look like a $5 little thing. I, I love this. This is beautiful. So now i got to think of something else because, you know, I was going to cover it. But I think I'm going to use this as my backing and put, like, I don't know, some burlap leaves. And, I mean, because it's just, it turned out really pretty. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, and then I just wanted to share a few other little things. We're going to do something with this in a minute. <clears throat> I'm hoping we're going to do something in a minute. But there's a lot of people who said they were having problems finding these student planners from the Dollar Tree. Well, if you go online at the Dollar Tree, you can order them and have them shipped to your Dollar Tree store, but you have to order 24 of them. But if you're going to be, you know, giving these out for gifts, hey, you know, that's not, not bad. <clears throat> but these were some other things I found at the Dollar Tree and you do have to just dig around because they're this is like from six different Dollar Tree stops in order to get the parts and pieces that I got this I mean these are things that we're gonna be doing things with as far as for Christmas and everything so this is a little index card it's it's plastic uh, I mean it has little plastic things in there and then it has a little cover on the front. Uh, this one is torn off, but I still, I don't know. I'll mess with it when we get there. But I wanted it because of the spiral and the index cards because, you know, this is <coughs> a little thicker paper than the little planners are. But that's why, you know, we glue all that in there. But I just thought this would be something interesting to work with. Then at another one, um, I found this um jot notebook card from the dollar tree and it says four subject and it has the you know the thinner paper but where it's perforated i think when we glue our paper over there it'll help you, you know it, these won't rip out because like right now you could tear it like that but going and putting the paper over there will <coughs> help that <clears throat> so we're gonna mess with something with this and then this has little you know the little plastic inserts in here and these are actually inside there so we will see I, I've got something in plan for that and then I found this little spiral which you know isn't well obviously I smushed it but <clears throat> it's a little bit smaller than this not much and the the little ring thing is a little smaller so you probably have to take out an extra set of papers if you're going to mess you know do with this but we're going to make something with this too and um but the paper in here is i mean a good thickness considering it's dollar tree so and then i found this which is just paper and it's stapled in there so, I thought we could take the staples out, take these out, coffee dye and do, and make a small journal out of here and cover this up. Because, I mean, this is just screaming journal. And then there's this. You know, like I said, I hated to pay a dollar for this. But, it's all in good of showing something. But, I thought <clears throat> we could actually take this apart and make one of those, an actual, like the hardcover altar books out of this so 
which would entail, I don't know, because, you know, we only have not quite, a, like, three-eighths of an inch. Make sure I'm filming, because um, I did not turn my timer on. Three-eighths of an inch in here, <clears throat> but I'm going to come up with something for that. And then I found this one here. It says, because they have different ones, there's dotted pages, and there's something, there's like three other kinds, but I found two with the dotted pages. Isn't that the cutest little thing? So, this is actually glued in, so I don't know. Oh, well, hey, we can, well, if you push real hard, it busts right open. So, that would be easy to take these out, I think, and make an actual journal out of it, and then it comes with this already on the back so there you go so we're gonna mess with that one <clears throat> and then they had these you get two little notebooks in here and they're sewn in but they're decent thickness paper and so it wouldn't take much to take the stitching out and then, you know, we'll have to slice down here and make our own little spine just a little bit more to, to maybe make it bigger. But I was even thinking this, this might be good for like little gift card things or something. I don't know. I've got to think a little, think a little more on that one. <clears throat> but these are great like teacher gifts or just friends gifts or, or whatever. Um, this would be a cute like little recipe card. I don't even know if a recipe is this size. Maybe this one. But, I don't know. And then, like I said, this is sewn in, too. You know, I hate to rip the stitches out, but we need more thickness than that. Oh, it goes this way because that this this top's um, bigger. But, I mean, it's good, good thick paper. And they have, um, like, four different color match, you know, mix matches of this. So, that's something that if you're out and about, if you're looking for, maybe pick them up. And that way, when... I get my little things, <clears throat> my little projects going. You can make mo make one with me on that one too. And then this one, same thing. I mean, it's stapled in, so we can take the staples out. It's good thick paper. I think we can coffee dye. I mean, we're just going to cover it anyway. And but it's a a nice journal base, and it's like eight and a quarter by five hmm five and three eighths <clears throat> so we might can put some of those tn papers in here and come up with something on that one and then i found this a doodle journal um you know i don't know if i'm all for the papers or not but they're once again you know good good size paper for the dollar tree i mean as far as thickness kind of like your basic copy paper but it is um, stapled in also. Let me see if I can find the middle. Yeah, see it's stapled in also, so we can take that out and then cover this and come up with, I got, anyway, I got, I got, I got plans. So, that's my Dollar Tree. Well then, I'm not sure, <clears throat> some people don't have Dollar Trees, so I went to Dollar General. Yeah, Dollar General. Um, which is like a Dollar Tree, but, it, you know, well, there's not a lot that's a buck in there. But they have the same, the same little, you know, thing like the Dollar Tree had. But this is a little thicker. And this cost, let me see, index card book, $2.25. But it was in red, and I thought that would be cute for Christmas because it was in with the red already and you don't have to do anything to it because it's red then I found these little journals that they have there you only get one but it's you know cute little papers to where you can you know rip them out and do all your stuff with and this binder is the spiral is a little thicker for here so if you do the same rip outs like we did on the first one you should be fine because you have a little more play and then this is some 
this is some serious chipboard on here that you could cover up, but it's designed for you to, you know, color and do in there. But this thing was, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that pencil. Not that one. Not that one. Oh. Well, it says journal clear cover. Let's see if I can find a SKU number on here. Yeah, this is it. Well, it was obviously on clearance or something because it was two dollars and six cents. I didn't even know it. I thought it was like three dollars and fifty cents, but I was willing to pay three fifty to get you know a thicker one to to play with. But it was um, two dollars and six cents. But what was hanging on the the thing was three dollars I think three dollars and fifty cents. But so you might want to go uh check that out. And like I said, it's just called 96 page journal. It's their little crafter's closet in their little crafting section that they have at the Dollar Tree. And if you're wanting a barcode number, let's see if I can shoot. Well, it's eight one zero zero three one nine five three three six three let's see if I can maybe I don't know if my phone my phone does not there it goes okay I know there well shoot there you go well there's there's part of it there's the other part there I think you can see it all now but Maybe you can check that out because that's a decent one. Then I found this because I thought, well, hello. Let's just see what we can do with this. Now, this one was $4. But it has a little thing on the back. And it's, it's clear plastic on front and back. But each page, it already has, like, pockets in here. So, and then different color cardstock backing. So, I thought this would be, I mean, hello, easy to decorate even, you know, if we have to cover back here with some other paper and then put here, you know, some other pockets and stuff. But, um, but it, let me see, how big is the, we're about three-fourths of an inch on here, but this measures um, from plastic to plastic, it's six and seven-eighths by ten and three-eighths. But the actual inside is six and five eighths by ten and an eighth. But I thought this would be a cute, a cute little something with, I mean, just, can you see that? Like those huge, those big tags and, yeah. So we're going to play with that one. So that was like other options of little things that we're going to be playing in with my, my quick quick, easy, and cute little series that we're going to do for the holidays. So, now, yada, yada, yada. What I wanted to do with this one, I know i got paper clips in here because I'm going to do something else. I wanted to try, I've had this for a while, um, this Deco Art Metallic Luster. You know, it's the stuff like rub and buff you put on your finger and, you know, get it all over your finger. But, I wanted to see what it would look like, well one, if I could do with a brush and put it in here, and so let's just see what it does. Because you know, I really didn't want to get it all over my fingers. <laughs> but we might end up, make sure, okay, 19 minutes. But we might end up there anyway. And I don't know if it's gonna stick to this glossy. I mean, it's sticking on this part. Now if I could just get it in here to this paper. Oh, well, I'm making a mess. Well, obviously this might be a bust. And it could be, well, it's, it's probably just because I'm, I didn't want to use a good brush, but I just wanted some gold accents, which I'm getting it all on my, well, it sticks to that metal. I think if I had a more of a stencil brush, 
to go inside here. All right, let me put you on pause and go into my my paint area and grab a, a stiffer brush. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I got a, a stiffer stencil brush and let's see if I can get Oh yeah, that's what you need. You definitely need that stiff brush to get in between the, whoops, I'm flaking, <laughs> to get in between there, but it's still not doing as good. I mean, it's making this the spiral thing really pretty, but I'm not getting, well, I mean, the, oh, good grief, yeah. Uh, you might, this is definitely a, a messy little project. I should have put my little apron on. Oops. Yeah, I was trying to avoid it on my finger, but I just had to see what it felt like. But I think it's going to cover enough in here. Because I just wanted to try to get rid of, you know, some of this color. But I'm, I'm liking the spray paint better, to be honest with you. But this is, is pretty. All right, here we go. If I could just get my fingers in there. So I'm thinking, well, I was like, I was wondering. Oh, but I do love that gold on the, on here. Like I said, this is definitely gonna be a cleanup on aisle seven. Oh. I do love the how the gold is on the little spiral. And I mean it's not rubbing off once it dries. Hmm. All right, let's go back with this again and see if I can get some inside which, you know, this is kind of It's so weird. I guess that's why it was at um, Tuesday morning two years ago. <laughs> it's been up in my... wonder how Q-tip would work. I mean, it's starting to finally get in there if you go back and forth enough, but I mean, I'm thinking I'm, I'm lose, wasting most of my, my gold and flex on the, um, on the table. See if I could just get. Hmm, let's try it bent like this. Well, like I said, I'm just making more mess than than what I thought. The spray paint's definitely the way to go. You know, and your fingers around here, but I'm trying to get in here. All right, hold on. Let me go get, I'm going to go get a Q-tip now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I got Q-tips. Let's try with Q-tips. Okay, Q-tips are the winner. Best next thing to your finger. definitely works in there the best even though you know q-tips aren't what they used to be either you used to could use them for stuff and now you don't even get hardly get any cotton on the end and then it doesn't stay on there But it is going in inside the grooves the best. All right, let me just go back with my Q-tip in the grooves. But yeah, this is a, a chalky mess. So I can see why this ended up there. Mm. 
Okay. Jeez. That's just one side. <laughs> I still got to do the other. But this is, yeah. This is definitely a little messy. Let me just swoosh it over. We were definitely going to have to be doing some cleanup when we're done. All right, so let me just take my my finger and go around here just so it can have it because I'll probably go around the edge of the paper anyway but and I'm probably not even applying this right or using it this is you know my first time for around the papers <laughs> but it is pretty and I think it's gonna be really nice when we get some of the autumn paper, let me just get these chunks out of the the grooves. And then I just need to go ahead and hit, put a little more rub and buff on the middle on this side. All right, let me go ahead and do this side now. Well, I guess I need to get another Q-tip. And I think this is the one where you might wanna go ahead and use one of the cheap ones from the Dollar Tree so you don't feel so bad because I, I think the ones from the Dollar Tree would even work better oh, let me pull some of this off because the cotton uh, anyway manufacturers of America I am not happy with y'all's cheap cheap ways nowadays because everything is so cheaply made so they can make continue to make their profit and then we're the ones that suffer because we still pay the same price. We get less quality, less quantity. Okay, enough of that. Wham, 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 wham. But it does bother me. <laughs> I work hard for my money, y'all. Just see if I can smush some of this in there since it's on the book because now I got a stripey thing going on so yeah I'm still more in fan of the spray paint But I think if you spray painted it, oh, like, see, this one would be, okay, I'm getting ready to have to go around that. I hate to mess it up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just get some inside there. rub and buff on the tops I know it's not called rub and buff but that's where I, the error I grew up in um, metallic luster from deco art oh, wax metallic finish well it wax metallic to my finger I can tell you that I mean, I know it's just supposed to, you know, put a hint of stuff on there, and I asked, asked it to do way more than it was designed to do. <laughs> but if you live in this house, you have to do more than one thing. But yeah, it definitely is a little chunky and flaky. I hope I don't need those paper clips because I sure just, uh, oh, but that is pretty. <laughs> I sure waxed on those and no wax off. Oh my gosh, this is going to require a baby wipe and maybe some 409. <laughs> All right, let me just, ouch. 
go down the side a little more. But yeah, I definitely like the the spray paint version better. Let's see if we can. I sure hope this comes off of my paint, my brushes. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some in between since I'm holding this notebook at a little different angle. Maybe I can get some of that. And I, you know, I guess you just see so much of it now because the cover's not covered with paper. But you know, I'm a little picky. But hey, this this that's why they call them junk journal. And I just got stuff on another finger. Oh, what a dummy. Well, I just obviously want to be gold. Okay. That's enough. So there you go. That's that hot mess. But we're going to cover it up. And that's this hot mess. Oh. Okay. Let me throw these. This in the trash real quick. Whoa. Okay. Where did my cover go? I wanted to try to see what it looked like around here. Because... Oh, I know that's bothered me all right and I want to get too heavy on this and I don't want any on the back because it does stick but I wanted to try just to go around yeah I'm liking that that's pretty just to go around the edges Yep, so it really does look pretty on here if you just go around the edges and stay away from in there. So, like I said, spray paint first, wax on later. too much down there but we'll just add a little more over here but yeah all right so I like this one and then maybe we'll just run our fingers down here not a lot, just a little. Okay, so I'm going to leave this alone let it dry. Alright, well, there. So, now you saw me make a mess. Big time. I will clean this up. And then we will get rocking in another one. And um, so, I hope that inspired you and gave you a few more ideas of where to look and what kind of journals to look for and um, like I said just I know I can't these aren't gonna fit over there I'll never find them in there again but there they are all right guys so um, whoops I'm over already well I hope that inspired you I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it gives you a few more ideas and if you got some spray paint laying around to you know spray paint your little your covers and turn your planners into something else besides just the little planners. Like I said, if you have that Rust-Oleum stuff, this is really pretty. Um, so, and then see that little gold stuff all around the edges. But those are going to turn out pretty. Oh, I'll just leave them there, but I got stuff. All right, so <laughs> thanks for sharing some time with me. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. I hope it gave you some, some ideas and inspiration. And like I said... A way to use your spray paint, another way to use your little metallic luster stuff, and um, oh, and here's this other one. <laughs> so it's going to look much better after we cover it because it doesn't look like much right now. But anyway, we're going to turn that into a beautiful swan. Okay, guys. So um, lots of kisses, lots of love. Um, thanks for everything. I will see y'all later, and um, stay tuned for these crazy little this series that we're going to be doing. All right, that's enough. 
I've I've done gone off off the railroad track. See y'all later. Bye guys.